Blessings on you. This is Winston Cooper, and we're still dealing with the doctrine of salvation, which is soteriology. And a question was proposed to me. What does the Bible say about homosexuality? Now, right off the back, I am not a heterosexist. I am a biblicist, and I'm a theologian that believes in proper exegesis of Scripture. And when I hear a question like that, what comes to my mind is the law first mentioned, which is a hermeneutical law. I have to look at it from a hermeneutical law to see um, how to decipher or how to answer that question. And when I look at uh, that question, I, I go back and to see what God says about sexualities and what did he do in the beginning. In Genesis chapter 1 and chapter 2, the Bible says that he put male and female together and they became one. This deals with uh, how marriage was first consummated between Adam and Eve. So that tells me that God desired man to be with a woman for procreation. He wanted a godly offspring from them and for them to enjoy each other in pleasure, the masculine gender and the feminine gender. Now, it doesn't have, this, is, this does not have nothing to do with homophobia, but this is a sin uh, issue. Um, some people believe that they became homosexuals because of a traumatization in the past. Uh, some believe that they were just born that way. But re in reality, everyone was born in sin nature. And why am I bringing sin up? Because sin wants every human being to distort the very purpose that God created them to be or to become. And so we have to look at sin. Sin distorts the purpose of God. God's original intent is for men and women to be together. Um, now, even though Jesus does not mention that in the Gospels about homosexuality or heterosexuality or bisexuality, he does give us a framework what what God desires, and that is male and male and female coming together to create a godly offspring. And Jesus says that in the Gospels. But Paul mentions this in his scripture. Now, Paul he gets a bad rap. Some people believe that Paul he advocates uh, chauvinism, and um, when Paul mentions this in First Timothy two that a woman should not usurp authority over a man, they use that scripture, but they ignore Ephesians five, where Paul tells that husband to love his wife and he gives duties for the wife. And then Paul does not advocate slavery because he mentions Philemon um, as, a, as someone that he wanted to take over with Onesimus. But Paul mentions that homosexuality is a work of the flesh. And he says anyone that practices homosexuality should not inherit the kingdom of God. So when, look, when we look at it from God's original intent and we look at it from the Pauline epistles, we see that there's a clarity there that homosexuality or anything that distorts the purpose of God is sin. So is homosexuality allowed? According to the Bible, homosexuality is prohibited. But according to your opinion, you can do it, but the Bible prohibits it.